Hi there, I'm Lisa Taylor. Welcome to the island. Here's, our, here's the view. Another beautiful day, very sunny. A little cooler, but very sunny. I wanna pop in, I wanted to talk to you about the difference. I, I, I recognized something recently in reading a passage I've read over and over and over again in this book I've studied all my life, Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures by the woman Mary Baker Eddy who discovered and founded Christian Science. And there is a line in there where she says, Christ presents the true idea of God. No, Jesus, what did she say? She says, Jesus represents Christ, the true idea of God. And then she goes on to say, Christ presents the indestructible man whom spirit creates, constitutes, and governs. And I thought, oh, that's really interesting. I never sort of noticed that before, that what Jesus represents and Christ presents and I thought, okay, I want to think a little bit more deeply about that. Christ, so to present is to show or reveal, right, an image, right? To represent is to exhibit the image. And we have a plane flying over. This time it's a little bit quieter. So if the image of God, man, right, if the image of God is already revealed and the Christ presents that and Jesus represented Christ it's like Jesus there's no effort in that there's no work in that so the other day when I was feeling I don't know I all of a sudden all of these symptoms started coming on and I don't know flu whatever fluy type symptoms and for about five minutes I started to like dive into that pool right and then realized wait a second if Christ presents the indestructible man whom spirit creates, constitutes, and governs, there's no wiggle room in there. There's no room in there for anything for me to represent the Christ, to represent that indestructible man. All I'm doing is representing it. It's already been done. So just, just sort of reviewing this concept in my thought freed me from any sense that there could be any room in my expression of the divine to represent anything other than the Christ truth of man, the indestructible man. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that because it, it really helped me a lot. And anyway, the symptoms immediately left and it was there was there was no issue. It was a non-issue. Um, so any of the symptoms that were sort of lingering, it was just they were just gone. So I just really, I really like this concept of the difference between the divine being presented and that we are representations of that. It's kind of like the, you know, the image and the reflection, but it's just another sort of take on it to, to present and to represent. So I hope that serves. If you like this, please share it out. And always, it, you know, I love seeing where you are around the world. And we keep getting new people from all over the place. Oh, and I wanted to mention, I'm doing a thing live on Saturday, September 25th, an Ideas on Toast focused on relationships. So it's going to be in a Zoom room. So go to ideasontoast.com and you can just like sign up and get on the email list and sort of get entrance into the Zoom room. It's going to be me introducing the topic from a spiritual perspective and then everybody contributing. So come with questions, come with ideas, come with inspiration to share. It's going to, we're really going to try to make this be a, a conversation with all of us and uplift each other up. I used to do Ideas on Toast way back when in my living room with a group of moms from the school where my kids used to go. So there's a long history of Ideas on Toast that I haven't really talked about in here, but I hope you can join us. So go to ideasontoast.com and sign up. I'd love to have you there. It's going to be a really good group of people. I've already seen several of the people signing up. It's going to be a good conversation. So hope to see you. Lots of love, you guys. And thanks for joining. I, I can't, I, t I know there are a couple of people watching live I, with the reflection of the sun on the screen. I can't see. I can't see anything. So I would say hi if I could see your names, but I have no idea who you are. So thank you for being here. And thanks for commenting. Let me know where you're watching from. All right. Lots of love. Talk to you soon. Bye.